hardest of our entire lives. I don't normally do intros like this, but I'm currently descending hundreds of feet into a cave that runs over five kilometers deep into the earth. I'm stranded here for the next seven days. This cave. Bro, this is just wicked. Dude, this is like a different world. This cave entrance may be beautiful, but looks can be deceiving. We didn't know it yet, but the next seven days will by far be the hardest of our entire lives. We're just looking for flat ground to set up camp. Upon entering the mouth of the cave, we stumbled upon an area with high enough elevation. As you can see by the footage, we spent around four hours. This is very hard to traverse. Getting all of it back up to our base camp. All right, Whew. we've got some lights on in here. Our supplies are finally at our home base. And if you point the camp- This is uh, way more comfortable than I thought it would be. Hey. Oh, God. <laughs> Why is my head so big, bro? <laughs> this part of the cave is two and a half kilometers deep, and we're basically camping at the entrance. Tomorrow, we have a lot of exploring. How'd you get while we're sleeping? Yeah. That's literally genius. I'm not just a YouTuber, okay? My hammock gets out right here. <laughs> Are we serious right now? This is where I just got out of bed. And we didn't realize it at the time, but this hole is almost 40 feet deep. So while Sean and I got started on the super tarp, Mac, oh my God. And eventually they finally made it to the bottom. Hey! We're supposed to be working on camp. We just want to show how dangerous camp was. Just don't fall. It's a skill issue. Oh, okay. And even though they should have been on their way back, Carl and Mac insisted on seeing how deep they could go. Bro, this just looks so crazy. You think you could make it through the river? <laughs> well, little do these two know, this river actually runs throughout the entire cave, which means we'll be spending some time in it. Oh, there they are. Oh, Tell me you guys cooked. Oh, we cooked. No, you see rocks. It's not rain. Rock pee. Rock pee. Rock pee, fine. All right, it's rock pee. And after a much drier night of sleep, we decided to have Joel, our mind, we are still just at the beginning of this massive cave. And our goal is to make it all the way through it without dying, of course. Oh my God. We're gonna follow, follow the wall around. It's so place. cool. You got it, Jimmy. Ah, I don't know if I fit. Jimmy, I need you to pull yourself up out of the water. Oh my God. What's crazy about doing this oh, it's so cold. is when you're completely submerged in freezing cold water, gripping onto the rocks becomes incredibly hard. Uh, oh my gosh, that was crazy. Matt, Carl, let's go. We <laughs> got this. Keep going. Look how crazy this is. And even though this obstacle was difficult, it's nothing compared to what's up ahead. We did it! Which means we've only scratched the surface of this expedition, and we still have over two kilometers remaining to reach the end. As you can see, every inch we go this way is an inch we gotta go that way to get back to camp. Our next obstacle may be out of the water, but that doesn't make it any easier to get through. Oh, is that a spider win? Spider, I don't see a spider. That means it's probably on us. Yeah. Oh, it's on you, it's on you. I hate my friends. <laughs> the next morning, we only had one thing in mind. Great, I've never felt my brain like this. My forehead is Wait. frostbite. Let's use the drone to dry our heads off. Come here, drone. Hold on further, stop, stop. It's actually working. Yeah, it is working. Who needs a hair dryer when you have a drone? And after we dried off, we sat down with Joel to plan our journey. What is this, Joel? Easy. And to ensure our best chance of survival, in addition to Joel, we brought another survival expert with us. This is where we had to stop on day three. How we doing? We're making much better time. Behind us, it's pitch black. Where do we go? This area gets narrow, uh -huh. and the current's strong. So we're gonna use the walls and kind of climb our way along. Yep, here we go. Jump for that first rock. There's a couple of good rocks around the corner as well you can get a hand on to. <laughs> it's so dark down here. There's no bottom right now. My feet aren't touching the ground right now. Because we couldn't reach the ground, this meant that if we let go now, we could get swept away by the strong current directly beneath us. John, what are we doing? I would go into here if you can. That's okay. a good one. I can't even see where I'm going. Oh God, the current is taking me away. You got it. You got it. Get yourself in there and it's going to get way gentler. I go in here? Yep. In the hole. Oh. we've ever done. We are much deeper in the cave than we've ever been. And we're now approaching our first serious obstacle. So basically, the water's recirculating. So if you fall in, it takes you to the bottom and it keeps you there. If we fall, we would die. Yeah. Okay, so death is on the table. This is just not what I thought I was signing up for. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, great. Strongest river is because it created this entire cave. And fun fact, we're not as strong as.
as a cave. I'm barely as strong as a human. Well, fortunately for us, rather than Carl leading this expedition, we've got the literal Avenger, Joel. And just to prove how much of an expert he is, this man literally flexed on us by jumping off a cliff. Oh my god. You're crazy. Who else is a bit crazy? Surely one of you guys are keen? I'm crazy. No shot you want to do that. What are you talking about? I'm doing it right now, baby. Let's go, Joel. Guys, be back. After everything Jimmy's put me through, this ain't that scary for me. Three, two, one. We gotta keep going or we will hit the end. Oh my god. Can we go downstream? Why are we always fighting the current? I might just start drifting away. I might just give it up. There are sharp rocks underneath the water. You cannot see them, so watch your step. Oh my god. But it's getting deep again. I can't. I need to put my feet up. And if the sharp rocks weren't enough of a challenge, it seems like with every step we took. Oh, bro, I can't see anything. This is terrifying. The cave became darker tighter and ruthless enough that we began to question if we could even get to the finish line. Oh. Oh. This rocky, miserable cave can easily transform into the most beautiful trip of our lives. We cannot leave until everything is picked up. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Let's get out of here. And after our journey back to the mouth of the cave. Oh, it looks so good up there. We had one more surprise for Joel. And before we head out, Joel, as a show of gratitude, we got you 50,000 New Zealand dollars. So it's 10 grand for every human you didn't let die. Oh gosh, thanks so much, Joel. We love you, Joel. And now that we got that out the way, let's leave. Woo! After 70.